you've come so far. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Prue or Prue LaRue. So today's video is makeup on the chopping block and this is an idea originally I saw from Andrea Matalano and she's an amazing YouTuber. So I've been thinking about doing this for a while and this is makeup I'm looking at decluttering and it's predominantly eyeshadow palettes. I'm using my FabFitFun box because I paid a lot of money for this giant box. But here are the palettes. So what I did today was take the palettes out of like rotation or their regular spots and put them in this box to see, to have another think about them. Oh, and quickly, if you're wondering about my beautiful eyeshadow, check out my collab with Annette. She's amazing. <laughs> anyway, um, my lips have changed from that video and I'm now wearing the TF20 lips solely because I prefer watching people when they have glitter on their face. So I hope you do too. Let's get started on this box of palettes. So I think in my collection I have over 50, I think it was 60 at my last count, maybe 64. And I was quite surprised when I just sort of went, all right, Prue, pull out all the palettes you haven't touched and like take them out. You need to start thinking about it. So let's start with Kat Von D. Now she is, but let's start with the Kat Von D products that are in here. She, she has a lot of drama uh, around her at the moment. These aren't all the Kat Von palettes that I'm considering getting rid of. The ones I've I've got Pastel Goth and the 10 year anniversary and those are the ones I want to keep. Is my whiskey ready? But I have three palettes of four. I'm thinking of getting rid of. So this is her Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour quote in Sage. This is the green one and I bought this pretty much for that green shade. No I, oh no I remember when I bought this. I bought two of these originally because they were on Spesh and I think they're like 28 bucks or something. And I like the idea that they told me where to put my makeup, like base, define, contour, highlight. And I was like, oh, that's how you do eyeshadow? Cool. Um, I've never applied these to my eyes ever. The only color in here I like is that green, to be honest. Let's watch like my favorite colors. Like that, that dark green, I really like that. It's like a really nice olive green. Um, I did have the purple one in these, but I gave them to a friend who wanted to, who didn't have any makeup. I've got her Metal Matte Mini. So I bought this because I was sad that I missed out on the big one. And I really wanted it because of that. Like FOMO. The problem is I don't actually really like any of the shades in here. This is a pretty boring palette, especially these days. I mean, hey, yellow maybe. So Feather. Oh, Feather. Feather's like quite a nice white yellow, but sorry, I just had to clean that all off. I do like that feather color, the like pastel -y yellow. But to be honest, I've never just pulled it out for that color ever. I feel like every other color in here is like meh. So I've already got Thunderstruck, which is that unique color. I didn't even realize I had it when I bought this. So I've never properly looked at this palette. I don't know. I'm tempted to just like destroy it and get that yellow out. Or should I look at like selling it on? I feel like the problem with selling it on is that like I have to talk to people and I have to ask them for money and then I have to organize posting it and it just it just becomes like a whole thing. Serpentina is on the chopping block. This is mainly because this packaging is just stupid big. Like so stupid. The colors in here are beautiful. I really love. I know I've used it. Nile. See, this is why this is why they're on the shopping block and they're not being decluttered right now because like I I really struggle with the concept of decluttering and getting rid of my makeup. I like that blue. I feel like I really want to just like destroy the palettes and get the colors out that I want. But then it's a waste of makeup for the other shades. I don't know. Like, can you tell me what to do? This is actually still on its original packaging. I feel like I'm happy to just get rid of this, to be honest. And this is the Shade and Light Glimmer Eye Contour Kit. I bought this when it went on special at Sephora and it's got the new packaging. Like that is pretty, isn't it? I wish you did a limited editions like this. 
but this is just the boringest palette ever. I've swatched it all, I don't think I've ever worn it on my face. I mean this white looks nice. Anyway. But I feel like I've got a lot more things that are much more unique than this. I feel like I could happily get rid of this. Now going into my Tarte collection. This is the Rainforest of the Sea. Um, I've just never really used it at all. Sorry, that's well, shiny shine. Um, it's nice, but it's like super boring too. I was so excited when I bought it though, and that makes me want to keep it. But that's not enough of a reason to keep it. I'm not sure. I really struggle. Like I just I struggle to remember. This is what I'm thinking of. Mm, it still smells like how it was when I bought it. So this is the Make Believe in Yourself by Tarte. I remember using this a lot when I first bought it. Like I didn't know what I was doing at all. And I've just not touched it like since really. Um, I would be curious to just try it again and see what I think of the formula these days. Like is that something is that something you're interested in seeing or something I should just do on my own time? I hate the idea of getting rid of things. I really do. So this is one that I'm definitely thinking of. And this I I bought one and I got one for free. And I gave the other one away already. And I think I saw someone on Aussie Makeup Exchange on Reddit selling this the other day. And I was like, oh, yeah, I should just sell mine. I'm. If this was like unique shimmers, I'd be down to keep it. But it's like they're really boring. Now, I remember it was so exciting when it came out. The element surprise is on my like get a get away once. And this is like I'm thinking of buying the She palette because I used to own that and I gave it to my sister. <laughs> I regret that. But really the only shade in here I like is this one, the pink, which is supposedly, it could be subdue or on, opulent. I don't think I've actually used it, but I do like it. It swatches beautifully. This is all, I'll try, I'll put opulent next, like a purple. But those are the only two shades in there I want. I'm wondering if I should destroy it and get the two shades out, or should I like try and recoup some of my losses and sell it secondhand? This one I feel like probably definitely will go. This is my double entendre. It's just boring as. Like super boring. Why did I even buy this? I think I bought it because I thought, oh yeah, I need more mattes. Like neutral palettes. I'm like no, no I don't. That is the Colourpop. I've got one of my Morphe Jaclyn Hills. I'm probably, I've got Dark Magic as well and I really like Dark Magic. So I'll probably keep that one. But this is Bling Boss. It's really performed terribly. The only colour in I like is Gem. I'm not sure if I should try and sell it on. I mean, it's only worth probably like 10 bucks, maybe five bucks. I feel like this is probably one that's more worthwhile just trying to dig out Gem. What do you reckon? So, this is Gem there. And it's just, it's nice. I like it as a colour. In here as well, we've got the Lorac Brunch palette. I believe this isn't for sale anymore and like I don't know who's wearing this or who this works on. This palette's no good. You can see I've barely used it. I have tried to use it but it's not. There ain't much pigment and I just don't think it's worth keeping. Maybe someone else like knows how to use it or wants it and uh, it could have a new home. And moving into Too Faced, we've got the Peanut Butter and Honey palette. I do pull into this palette sometimes just because it makes me happy. I like the theming. Um, Honey Buns is this yellow in here and I like it. It's not, it's not amazing or anything but it's nice. The Bee's Knee shade which is a shimmery brown is like the shade that makes me want to hold onto it but it still smells nice. I don't know. I feel like someone else who loves neutrals could get so much use out of this than me and for me it's just sitting here and I'm not touching it. Alright this is one so I saw on Reddit the other day people were like I mean I think the Sweet Peach palette how much they love this palette and I bought this because the chick at Mecca told me it's amazing and it's a good one to start out learning on but I don't know it seemed quite full outy there wasn't much to me there's not much you can do with this palette I'm saying we can make a purple look, a pink look, or a neutral look. Berlin, which is this olive green, looks quite nice. I don't know. I feel like I want to play with this one a bit. Just because I saw people saying they love it, and I'm so confused by that. Better put it back in. 
just just for now. Oh, another Too Faced. I'm thinking of getting rid of this. The Too Faced chocolate chip. This one has a huge amount of fallout. Huge amount of fallout. But I bought this when I was buying a gift for another friend. And I was like, only oh, 28 bucks. And I was like, oh, two. this is before I got into makeup. And I was like, oh, Too Faced for 28 bucks? I'm like, yeah, I'll try them. Because when you don't know anything about makeup, you just go, oh, that's a great brand. I remember I did my eyeshadow once with this and I said fallout everywhere. And I was like, hmm, it looks fine. That's kind of how I live my life these days. This got a really bad review. And it's really, it's just not that good. So I think I could definitely get rid of this, but I don't know like who would want it, who like deserves that in their life. I've got the NARS Sarah Moon palette and this came with a eyeshadow liner. I think the liner's still in there. Let's find out. Yes, the liner is still in there. I got this for Christmas. Oh, I can't get rid of it solely because of that. Uh, my sister-in-law chose it for me on behalf of my actual sister. Well, my sister-in-law essentially my sister, but she chose it out for me and it is, it's really nice. Well, I feel like I should use it more. I've just swatched it like, it's mixed in with everything on my hand. But I just, I can't bring myself to get rid of gifts. I feel really mean. Like when it's a gift that someone's put thought into and effort and gone and got it for me, like, well, I just really appreciate it. This is what I'm thinking of getting rid of, and this is the Smashbox All Mattes. This is just stupid. I don't know, I don't like this palette at all. I wish I had some other colours in it. I don't ever reach into it because I have all these colours in pretty much every other palette I've ever owned. I see people talk about how much they like them. And if you, like, I bought it because when I went to Mecca I said, oh, I really need some more mattes because I have so many shimmers. And then they're like, oh, try this. And then I bought it. And then I was like, I don't like it. All right, this is one that makes me a bit sad. And this is actually the only thing I've ever owned for this brand. It's the Viseart Petite Pro 3. And I'm thinking of getting rid of this. Like, the packaging is really nice. But I did do, and I do like the colors in here. But I did do a wear test on it ages ago. And these wore terribly on me. Like the worst of any shadow I've ever owned. So I'm curious to maybe just give them one more shot with the NARS Smudge Proof. But I don't think that will make them any better, and I think I should get rid of them. Because it didn't really work. Another palette I'm thinking of getting rid of is the Natasha Denona Holiday Palette. I got this in Beautylish last year. Like, well, beginning of this year. Um, I never really reach into it. It doesn't... I don't know. It needs to come over this box first. Oh, that yellow is nice. Nope, you can't even see it. I'm just going to put it on my finger because that's too hard. That is... So that's a really nice shade. I don't know. I think I'm going to leave it out of its palette, uh, like out of its box, and see if that inspires me to use it. I don't think so. So what I'm going to do is put these shadows back in the box while I ponder what I'm going to do about them all. I absolutely love your thoughts or help. Like, should I look at reselling them? Should I depot them and get the shades out that I want? Mm. I mean, that'd be pretty funny watching me try and depot all these different kind of palettes. There's all so many different kinds. Um, or should I just put them in a box and then wait and see if I ever use them? Which, that seems more my style. Anyway, I really enjoy watching other people do this. I don't know if I'm going to enjoy this. But if you liked it, um, I hope you enjoyed. And feel free to let me know any thoughts you have on any of these palettes. And what you reckon I should do with it all. Um, I feel like I need to let it go. Some of, like, some of it at least go. But I really struggle to let go of makeup. I feel like it all has a little story for me. Because like, I remember either getting it delivered. Or I remember buying it. Um, yeah. I'm just a bit sentimental with makeup. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed.